Hello, I am Meredith Barrett, the Senior Transplant Fellow at Michigan Medicine. Today's video focuses on the Michigan Kidney Transplant Trainer in sewing the arterial anastomosis. Notably, we have highlighted the renal vein anastomosis on the trainer previously, and it has been performed prior to the artery as we would do in a standard kidney transplant. Here you can see I start with my assistant holding up on the donor artery and going inside to out with a 6-0 proline. I then reload the other needle and go from inside to out on the recipient iliac artery to allow my knot to lie outside of my anastomosis. I then secure the anastomosis by tying down on the proline. I make sure to even up the suture tails to allow for easier sewing. I then take the suture and go behind my knot from the outside to in on the iliac artery. I find it is helpful to take these first two bites in two to assure that your corners are secure and aligned properly. As I move down the artery, having a good assistant is crucial. They keep, help hold up on the donor artery and align the anastomosis properly while, provide the, while providing the proper tension on the suture. On the straightaways, if comfortable, I go through both layers in one bite. But when I round the corner, I return to taking the bites in two to ensure the angles of the corner are correct, as you can see here. I take a few additional bites beyond the corner and then switch needles to come from the top again. It is important when taking the bites on the front wall to be aware of and look out for the back wall with each stitch. Once you reach your other stitch, complete the anastomosis by tying down two, but not overly cinching your knot. As you can see, our trainer allows you to practice suturing before doing your first kidney transplant in situ. I really find that residents who practice on the trainer are less stressed in the OR when they do their first kidney transplant and appear more prepared. As we know, practice makes perfect. Thanks.